today we've got some students that are a little bit in shock as as I am usually when I take a look at this because we're talking about uh, tires and date coding and I'm gonna actually tag a friend uh, in this because uh, Christy had a post on her personal uh, Facebook over a, a crash or or something a few years ago bringing up tire dating codes and it was just uh, really made me rethink a couple years ago how important it is that we're making sure that we teach this and just educating all you riders out there that you understand that tires uh, whether they have good tread or not only should be used for so long there's a good recommendation so we'll do a couple things first off you can see we're using some information from the web here on where to find the date codes you guys can go google your own brands I'd love to see a bunch of people post pictures of their own tires below in the date of their tire and find out if maybe you're in shock because uh, you're going to find out here in a second. I think Jesse was a little surprised how old his tire was and he's getting ready to spoon a new one on. But what we basically got is there's a, a code on here that will break down and tell you the week and year that the tire was made. The other thing that's a recommendation in here is that you should only use, and I saw this on numerous sites. Uh, six years is kind of the agreed standard for how old a tire should be before replaced regardless of tread uh, Real quick kind of look here. You can see you find that code in the example of 2510 was the 25th week of 2010, but whatever that number is if you divide it by 4.3 That'll get you quicker to find out if it was the you know uh, 12th month third week of the year and so on so we're going to do a couple of examples here on some tires, Jack, you got a new Dunlop. And on the Dunlops, it was in what looks like the VIN code, if you will. So we had 5116, so the 51st week of 2016. And what's interesting is, Keegan, that's a tire you just bought. Yep. And that was a tire not, at, not just sitting on a shelf at a dealer. The dealer ordered that tire in, and that tire is well over what? Year and a half old? So that means you're putting a tire on on day one, that's already taken off a year over a year of its birthday, right? Yep. Interesting. We don't have a lot of control of that, but this is another big reason we're unsure of their inventory if it gets turned around a lot. If you go somewhere really busy, the inventory should be turned around a lot. But let's just look at a couple other ones. You got a brand new one, Tyler. We got 5016. Again, a 20, a brand new tire just bought that was manufactured in 16. And Jesse, here is your actual tire you're replacing. Tread wise obviously needs replaced yeah. right yeah. but if we take a look at your date code where you at right there check this out look i just want to get a picture of his face he's still alive he's still <laughs> kicking why yeah. were you riding on that tire anyway yeah. man but look at this oh one <laughs> how old's that tire 17 years yeah let's do the math on that 17 year old this is where a lot of people are grabbing tires and throwing used tires off from their butt here this or that uh, it's a pretty cool bike. You guys have been watching a lot of videos that we've been doing on that, but ooh, crazy. Another brand new tire here, this Pirelli. Let's show the code on that one. Now I put my flashlight away. 5317. There's 53 weeks in a year. Something weird about that, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Leap year? Of course. <laughs> All right. Monroe here is just uh, holding up a cutaway we made at the college. So what we got here is we were showing how this is the drop center and the bead seating and a radial tire and, and kind of going through all of that. We're also talking about why I don't recommend at all of putting too big a tire on a small rim, a whole bunch of other tire information. But I'd kind of like summarize with this. Would you agree to tell the folks out there you need to learn about what's on your bike? We don't want those, uh, you know, tires are a big issue. We only got two of them and we don't want to have tire issues. All right, from all of us, make it a great day and keep wrenching.